You need to avoid these types of copywriting clients at all costs. If you don't, they're gonna chew you up, they're gonna spit you out, and they're gonna have you wishing that you never made the decision to start copywriting in the first place. Okay, so I'll start by saying that if you're new to copywriting, you might have the mindset that since you're new, you're just going to take any copywriting client that comes your way, no matter what. You just wanna get that money. And I get it, I've been there. You just started, you're excited, and you wanna start making money with your copywriting skills. But not every client is created equally. And the types of clients that I'm gonna teach you how to spot in this video, by avoiding them, it'll save you a lot of time, it'll save you a lot of money, and most importantly, it's gonna save you a lot of stress. Okay, so the first type of client you really should try to avoid with your copywriting business are clients that you figure out are trying to do drop servicing using your services. Basically, they're being the middleman. So they were hired by somebody somewhere to write copy for that person, but this person doesn't actually write copy. So they're coming to you to get you to write copy for this project that they have, that they've charged their client more for, they're gonna charge, they're hoping you charge less, and then they keep the profit in between. So why is this bad for you? Well, really sticky situations can come up if the person who's actually facilitating this drop servicing agreement is inexperienced or doesn't know much about writing copy. And the main reason for that lies in the fact that there might be a lot of revisions. Them coming back to you after you've completed the project and delivered your work, asking you to make changes over and over and over and over again. I've found that every time I've run into a client that I've figured out is drop servicing, they're usually in a rush. They're usually trying to you know, skim off the top and do things quickly and make a quick buck most of the time, which often results in them not taking the time to gather proper requirements information from their client on the other end. So what that means is that when you, the copywriter, when the project gets to you, you're working off incomplete information. So you're gonna deliver it to them, they're gonna deliver it to their client, and then their client's gonna say, this is wrong. Then it's this whole game of broken telephone from them to you, and it's messy. And it's especially something you want to avoid because if the person doing the drop servicing has already billed their client and that client doesn't want to pay them anymore, they're probably expecting you to do all these revisions for free. So it's basically a situation that's inefficient, it's costing you time and ultimately costing you money because it's probably going to be pretty hard to squeeze more money to get them to pay for these revisions after the fact. So do you like working for free? I don't like working for free. So yeah, inexperienced drop servicers, those are the first type of clients I would avoid in your copywriting business. And if you do spot them and they're insistent on hiring you, what I would do is quote them an absurdly high rate. That way, if they do hire you, you've built in this huge amount of profit to cover any revisions they might ask, or it'll just scare them off because they don't want to pay that much. That's how I would handle this if I were you. It's a good tip, you're welcome. So this next type of client that you want to avoid is actually one that most of you probably don't even realize that this is a bad situation you're getting yourself into. It's when a prospect reaches out to you, asks you to send them a quote for your services for a specific project, then they disappear. They go away for two days. They come back and say, hey, you know, this person, this person, and this person said they would do the same thing for cheaper. I need you to do it for cheaper or even worse, they come back and they try to nickel and dime you on something so small as your per word rate. Before even talking about your services, your skills, the value you can provide, they're just concerned with price. And if this is all happening before you've had a chance to truly sink your teeth in and understand what they're looking for and for them to explain what they're looking for, this is bad news, total red flag. So if you happen to see this happening in your early conversations with a customer, pump the brakes, calm down, slow things down. And the reason you wanna slow things down and maybe not take this project is because as a copywriter, the reason people hire you and the real value you provide is actually the value you provide with your copy, what your copy can accomplish for them. Your value is not the cost per word your clients pay you. That's a misconception. So if you notice that they're hyper-focused on the price you're charging and they don't seem to get it. They just do not get it. They're not listening when you're trying to justify why you charge what you charge for your services and explain how it can help them grow or how it can help them solve problems. If they're just 
focused on the price, this is a really easy one to deal with. Bye bye. Save yourself the headache because this is a major red flag of more potential problems from this type of client down the road. If they're just focused on price and not focused on the value your copywriting can bring to their business, they don't understand why they're hiring a copywriter in the first place and they're gonna really drive you nuts. I would avoid them. Anyways guys, this video was meant to help you guys save a bunch of time and money while running your copywriting business. P.S. If you haven't already, check out my new email copywriting prompts book on Amazon. Just released a couple weeks ago. People have been saying it's really helpful. Check it out. Anyways, until next time guys. Cheers.